Our discovery path starts at the smallest level you can imagine, deciphering the actual molecules that make up the brain and nervous system. The science happening here is really special and very unique. Major advances in understanding the brain have already come from neuroscience teams at Scripps Research, and many more are in the works. At our Florida campus, we have 16 laboratories tackling a variety of these brain issues. We are working on addiction, intellectual disability, autism, appetite control and obesity, dementia, depression, pain, and even vision loss and blindness. The brain is so complex. It's got billions of neurons and trillions of connections. The neuroscientists here at Scripps Research are dedicated to understanding that complexity. And we believe we can make a difference. We now know from work done in our laboratory that the brain is designed to forget. This is remarkable. This is basic science, but it's remarkable because we often think about forgetting as a malfunction, a problem with the brain. But we now know the brain is really designed to forget information. My lab is interested in two major areas, the neuroscience of learning and memory and diseases that affect learning and memory. Imagine all of the things you love about the world and all of the ways that you interact with the world. You wouldn't be able to do any of these things if your memory was not intact. My lab's really focused on understanding causes and treatments for autism and intellectual disability, so childhood brain disorders. We're studying a, a very specific genetic risk factor um, for autism that when it's mutated, it changes fundamentally the way that the brain grows and the, the way that the brain is wired up. One in every 60 seconds, a new person is being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. My lab is interested in understanding how memories are formed, and it's stored and maintained in our brain. As you know, it's a pretty complex problem. We all work on many different things, but our research process begins in much the same way, working to understand fundamental mechanisms at work in the brain and in the brain cells. We're asking questions like, how do genes affect behavior? How do brain cells make connections? How does brain develop? How are memories stored and raised? And that means we can start working on possible treatments. My laboratory is developing new treatments for Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Our ultimate goal is to develop treatments that will slow down the degenerative process to the point that the brain can heal itself. We're also interested in the role that memory plays in addiction and driving relapse. So our goal has been to target those memories, to see if we can selectively disrupt or remove them to give a person a fighting chance at staying clean. So we've been able to discover some new receptors that we're now trying to exploit, working really hard for the therapeutic benefits, um, in particular for treatment of such conditions as depression, addiction, pain, and vision loss. It is actually most unusual for a non-profit academic institute like ours to also have a drug discovery arm. We feel that's very important because it allows us the opportunity to maybe one day see our discoveries actually change lives and help the people who need treatment options. I think every family has been touched by brain disorder in some way. The neuroscientists here are dedicated to understanding those disorders and finding better ways to treat them. Another key to our success is that we train the next generation of neuroscientists through our top-ranked graduate school. Our students push us to ask new questions and try new ideas. And this is important because we need to be prepared for future challenges. We have a lot of labs here focused on the brain. They're staffed by some exceptional scientists. Your support could make an important difference in helping us make the next discovery.